Hello, my name is David. The last 14 of December, two colleagues and I were giving a lecture for Cyber Attack Techniques class in Cybersecurity Master in Universidad Carlos III de Madrid. We had some problems related to the last demo about how one cry can, can spread along the network and infect other hosts. Therefore, I have made this video to show it. First of all, I'm going to show you the scenario that we have set up, which is the same that you can see in the slides. The network address is 192.168.1.0 and the name of the network is WannaCry. We have two hosts in the network with a Windows 7 each one. The first host has the IP 192.168.1.100 and the name of the host is Windows 7. And the second host has the IP 192.168.1.110 and the name of the host is Victim. Then I will launch WannaCry in the host with the name Windows 7 and you could see how the malware can infect the other host with the name Victim. Then I'm going to show you that the scenario is properly set up. As you see, each host has configured the same network, WannaCry. Besides, we are going to see the name and the IP of the hosts. The name of the first host is Windows 7. And its IP is 192.168.1.100. Furthermore, I'll show you with this pin that this host is connected to the other one. Besides, this host can access to share folder in the victim host, as you can see. And the protocol used to share folder in Windows is SMB. This is the protocol attacked by external blue exploit. Moreover, the following host has the name victim and its IP is 192.168.1.100. Dot 110. And as you can see, this host can also be in the other one. Next, we are going to launch the application Apache DNS. This application responds DNS requests, and I'm going to start the server. Then I'm going to launch WannaCry, the application Apache DNS intercepts the request, the kill switch and send a response. Therefore WannaCry doesn't infect the computer or spread along the network. After that I would like to show you the application Process Hacker so that you can see how the process task that X is executed automatically. It takes care of cipher the file for the user, so this component is quite harmful. Furthermore, I'm going to open the Windows registry, particularly the key Hey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, and Run. As you can see, now there are no entries related with WannaCry or Task.x. Besides, I would like to launch Wireshark in the other host and analyze the traffic to the TCP port 445 because WannaCry will try to spread itself through this port. At this moment, I'm going to launch WannaCry in the host with the name Windows 7. Firstly, we can see in the application process hacker that, that the process task that is and one of the crypto that X are running. 
Furthermore, you can see that the malware has added a new file like this and uh, cipher some files, for example, text files, but not executable files. Besides, we can check the Windows registry and we can see that the malware uh, has added the following entry in the registry to ensure execution of subsequent reboots of, of the host pointing to the process tasked.exe. On the other hand, we are going to see how the malware can infect the other host in the network with the name victim. As you can see in the wireshark, after launching WannaCry in the host with the name Windows 7, the other host victim are receiving traffic to the port 445 and we can see that the other host has been infected by Ethernet Blue Explode. Well, I hope you have understood how WannaCry works. Even this lecture was a pleasure for all of us. We hope you found it interesting and well that's all see you soon